Yes, Nerdigans, demons are people too. Up, what Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for The Promised Neverland chapter 123. And um, I was really happy about last chapter, and I know the community's kind of torn about this, but I'm happy about last chapter because um, Emma brought up a really good point, which is that there's demons out there like Musica that don't eat humans. So Norman's theory is kind of out of whack. There's, there's a little flaw in there. And I'm telling you, Peter is just, oh, he is behind some of this shit. I'm telling you, that little motherfucker is, is, is trolling. He's trolling all of us. I'm telling you, he is. Uh, anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Those eyes uh, believing in a tomorrow in this chapter is titled An um, Important Choice. And there's the there's the bunny plushie and I've seen that bunny plushie on um, Twitter and that's uh, Connie's uh, bunny plushie but anyway I don't want to kill the demons but I absolutely don't want any more of our friends to be eaten a heart um, a conflict swing back and forth what do I do right I don't know what I should do I don't know either huh it's just like you said the seven walls route isn't something that will work um, destroy the plantations uh, reforge the promise Either way, the demons will perish. And even if we just forcibly escape to the human world, the risk of us being chased or starting a war is too high. Um, wait, war, run away, even more people will die. Um, right now, humans are an absolutely essential food source for the demons and their characteristics. If you want to save all of the cow children, no matter how you cut it, Norman's method is the only choice. Nothing can be done, or rather, you have no place to argue. Norman, Norman is correct. For now, there's nothing we can do, huh? That what? Huh? Wait, I don't understand. Then why do you ask about my feelings? Isn't there a solution? Nope. What kind of advice is that? Can you give any criticism? Nope. Wow, Ray, I'm actually kind of surprised about this. Well, you could have said that earlier then, even though I was holding it in. You can't just brush aside someone's feelings that um, they've had buried so deep, you jerk. But soon they'll be uncovered, huh? Your real intentions are buried. Before long, they'll come out. If you want to keep them buried thoroughly, hide them and uh, take this to the grave. You just can't give it up, right? That being said, from this point forward, there will be there would be countless things you can, uh, couldn't stand and they will balloon and eventually explode. In your case, it'll probably happen at the most opportune time. You're always brushing in the um, most troublesome dr uh, direction all by yourself. Uh... That's right to everyone else, Emma, um, is uh, always putting herself in danger. Uh, to Norman, you're a great uh, deal of trouble. You bother me a lot, too. If you're not convinced, then you should pro uh, properly see him face to face, especially because of just how serious a decision it is this time. Um, if you go at this half-heartedly, you'll regret it. It could be the biggest regret in your entire life. Ray, I've been convinced to side with extinction um, here, but you're different. You can't you still can't stop thinking about uh, what you should do. It's only in times like these that uh, you actually listen intently. I know. Now let's think about this again with a clear mind. What do you want to do, Emma? I don't want the demons to go extinct. I want to find a way where we don't have to fight. But there is none, and no one else wants no one else wants one. And if um if I you go around um looking for trouble, uh, everything, everyone might be uh, put in danger. More than anything else, I don't want to um, let any more of our family die. That's what I'm thinking, but what I um, want isn't the only deciding factor. What I want is something different, like I thought I really don't want to do. Then let's go and have a proper talk with Norman first. With Norman, even when I'm as troubled as I am? It's exactly because of how troubled you are. Like I said, it'll be too late after you explode. Besides, if nothing else, it's Norman. If you're friends that um, uh, can trust each other, then even more reason to tell him. Hasn't he been special to us since the, um, a long time ago? Yeah, and moreover, we're talking right now with parallel lines of thinking, but I'm sure there's something we can um, only see when discussing this with him, such as, first, a concrete plan. Depending on his plan, um, the chances of war uh, breaking out won't be zero. We better make sure, uh, sure to check. You're right. Aside from that, there's some there's something I'm curious about. Musica and Sanjo, right? Those two don't eat humans. It's strange. 
If these do not continue to eat humans, they can't retain their form and intelligence. Even so, both Sancho and Musica have hum human forms and high intelligence, and also inheriting the traits of what you eat. Those two eat birds and fish, but their figure didn't undergo any kind of change. I wonder what that can mean. See, Ray is like Ray is thinking along the same lines of, of me and I think the rest of us. I think Ray is thinking along those lines. Like, something is wrong. Something is up with Norman. And I think, like, if they talk with Norman about this, because I don't think that that's why I'm thinking, like, this is all going more according to Peter's plan than anything else. Because I, and I feel like Norman's kind of been un indoctrinated because, yeah, Norman has, like, high levels of intelligence, but why else would Norman not think about this? That's just my line of thinking. Maybe it really takes a long time after they eat until their forms change. Well, nevertheless, it's still strange that they can maintain a human form without eating humans. I know, right? Those two could also uh, those two also could have been lying, but if not, Sancho and Musica are exceptions. They don't need to eat people to maintain their human form and intelligence. If all the demons were like Musica, there might be a way for the demons and humans to coexist. No, even if I know that's too convenient of a wish, I wonder if Norman knows about it. Um, about how there are demons like Musica, see? Emma's like me. Emma, Emma's now thinking like me. Dunno, but if he doesn't, this could be bad, huh? See? Now Emma and Ray are on the same page as me. You, you see what I you see what I mean? Huh? If it's like we uh, if it's like we think, we need to let him know quick. Under that hypothesis, assuming that there are exceptions out there that can retain their form, how many demons with exceptions like that do you think there are? If there happen to be a lot, um, there will be those among them who will want to eat humans. Uh, and if we destroy the plantations, they um, won't degenerate. They'll remain enemies to humans. Norman's, plans, um, Norman's plan will collapse from its foundation. See, this is, you know, I mentioned this before. Um, conversely, if Norman already knows, we might um, be able to ask him about the existence of that exception. Depending on the situation, we might get a hint about how humans and demons could possibly live together. Ray, although I think that um, I think it's less than a one in a million chance, taking everything into account, we shouldn't let this keep festering. Right now, let's go discuss this with Norman now about Musica and Sanju and how you're troubled. Although, to be honest, I think coexistence with the demons is impossible. Those uh, ones from the, uh, the day that uh, ganged up on you, those are those are demons. But we also owe a lot to Sandro and Musica. Choose whatever you want. I'll lend you my shoulder. No matter what choice you make, it'll be okay. Doing something when it, um, it's impossible is your specialty. Let's make a future we won't regret. Yeah. Thanks, Ray. I somehow feel a lot better now. That was quick. Let's talk about everything so we have nothing to regret. And then we'll decide. A choice from the heart. Knock down norm what's going on those they're not norman who are they uh nice to meet you i'm ray and i'm emma we came from uh, shelter bo 6-32 they're the escapees that joined up uh with us yesterday oh gray shield grace field want a bite um and uh, no thanks i'm good for now excuse um excuse me where's Nor uh where's the boss we'd like to talk to the boss is out of the office right now in some urgent business then we'll come back again later wait up a second let's have some tea a chance meeting with the confidence uh the current boss on, um uh sorry we're right the curtain rises on a tea party we're a little bit curious you're those goodies from gracefield Ooh. We're going to get some insight on what's on what Norman's been doing. This will be very, very interesting. But this chapter was good. And I'm re really, really glad that Caillou gave us this chapter because it lets us know that Ray is, and Emma are on the same page as us, um, especially Ray. Because I had that feeling that Ray was on the same page uh, um, as us, as us as the readers. Um, that's what I mean. Um, but it's really, I'm glad Caillou um, confirmed it that Ray was on the same page as us um, in the first place. So that was really, really good to get that clarification. Um, that's what I feel like this chapter was. This chapter was more of a clarification chapter um, that Ray and Emma were basically on the same page as us because last chapter really, um, again, um, divided the community, especially uh, I noticed that in my comment section as well, that it kind of divided the comment section. Um, but um, this was definitely a good clarification that Ray and, as I, again, that Ray and Emma are on the same page as us, that um, 
that uh, about the exceptions uh amongst the demons and that that was the that's the flaw in norman's plan is that he might not know about this these exceptions and i'm very very glad that we got that clarification and that's what and um, we're gonna go ask norman about the clarification but before that though there's th th we're gonna talk to these motherfuckers but i feel like I still stand by what I, my theory that Peter like groomed um, Norman to be the um, the Minerva, um, you know Minerva's uh, successor, because I feel like he's gonna set like up this trap for them. Um, I, I I just because I because you have to wonder that Peter because like I feel like that Peter doesn't know about the exception either. Because, again, I still am standing by my theory that Norman doesn't know about it. And that Norman is indoctrinated, so to speak. And you have to wonder if Norman is meeting up with Peter. Um, because, remember, Norman was with Peter. Um, and, remember, like, I'm still basing it on the fact that, um, remember what Bayon sa saw before Peter di uh, or, sorry, before Bayon died, he saw that motherfucker Peter. He's like, that motherfucking asshole so that's why i'm still sticking with that um uh, double that double agent theory is because of that um so we'll have to wait and see but i still believe that i honestly believe it um that uh that i feel like maybe peter is like kind of like raising norman to not only be minerva successor but to be like the rotary clan successor as well like that that would be if that's the case that would be really interesting oh caillou go in that direction please oh my god if just to picture that if norman was not only minerva's successor but the rotary clan successor ooh, imagine that oh god i would love that do it do it caillou do it Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep covering more Promise Neverland content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, uh, friend me on PlayStation Network, all that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.